You tell me to be seen and not heard, to not speak until spoken to, to keep to the shadows until I become useful. Respect your elders. They don't mean it. They're just old. Don't talk so much. Fair place. Children should be seen, not heard. And so that's what we do. We quietly watch those we consider to be family say things that make us want to melt into the wall. What originated as an old proverb meant to keep young women quiet is still lingering in our modern world. I have something to say. Cordelia had something to say. I, I don't, don't want, want to be silenced anymore. anymore. We are cast out. No one is willing to listen. I speak up and I'm told to leave. Cordelia spoke up and she was banished, turned away by those she considered family because she spoke her mind. Seem familiar? Our country is at war within itself. No one is willing to speak up. Saying the wrong thing, believing in the wrong thing, even being born in the wrong place is dangerous. We've all seen families ripped apart, and yet we're still told that it's not our place to say something. My power is not so easily shown. It's easier for me to take another knife in my back than to call them on their shit. I lack the ability to stitch words together well enough to show how I feel. For some odd reason, the skill of speaking up seems to have left me. It seems like my personality has been washed away like a mess that didn't belong. It seems as if nothing is wrong anymore. I somehow became smaller overnight. I just do now, without any questions asked. Hey guys, this is Mr. Professor Dr. X here on my show, What Are Y'all Doing? Now on today's show we have... Gonoreal. And... Reagan. And the Playboy admin, uh, doing some pretty naughty things. Well, let's start with the sisters. Sisters, what are y'all doing? Well, Professor X, my father was going to give me half the land and Regan half the land. But I'm older and my boyfriend is hot, so I should get more than half the <laughs> land. Um, no. I should get more than half the land because I'm the one who helped father by telling him he was crazy and then kicking him out into the storm. Whoa, 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 whoa. You both get equal land. Equal land. So? so? Edmund, do you have anything to say about this? Well, to get what I wanted, I had sex with both of y'all. What? <laughs> you slept with As individuals, we're often supported by our thoughts, our wrongs, our trials we could have made perfect or the betterment of our bad trust. As individuals, we try to avoid shame and humiliation. We try to trust with our loved ones and the ones who uphold their title significance. As individuals, we psych separately, we familiarize different emotions, we become adaptive to those around us. And as individuals, we pick up characteristics from our already adapted ways. As individuals, we must come to terms with terminology and accept the parts of us that says, this is not a part of me. For what is good on the outside can always spread to the inside. rather be loved than feared. I would rather be feared than loved. Love is gentle and kind, but firm and respectful. Fear is harsh and precise. It feels soft and warm. It engulfs everyone and everything. It keeps people in line and no one opposes it. Love Fear makes us human. human. Real, Real power is the product of a scale, perfectly balancing both love and, and fear.
Loyalty is a precarious thing, an unpredictable thing, easily lost and forever being earned. Take care and never forget. It is a slippery slope, this thing called loyalty. It can be bought by riches, it can be bought by power, it can be bought by fear, and it shall never take place of the gift that is love.